hello everyone welcome to the second lecture of our data communication and networking so in this lecture we will study about the network models so network model what does it mean let's think let's see we have a user a and you have a user b so and this is the network now this is a network so a wants to send a data to b so the data which is available here with a how this data will arrange and how it will transfer from user a to user b so the the specification or the classification of an user A to transfer a data to user B date in a network that's called network model so in this lecture we have a different uh, we have a two kind of a model OSI model and uh, TCP IP model so we will see what is TCP IP and what is OSI model and OSI lives so so first of all coming to the layer what is layer layer mean uh, you have a uh, customer a or user a in Kabul and you have a customer B in uh, Herat let's see this is Kabul and this is Herat so you can say the a and B are friends now so a wants to communicate with B so how it will communicate let let's see there is no mm, no telecommunication is available this is like a old uh, old time so a will uh, write a letter then it will envelope uh, and then it will send to the post office then post office will send the data or send the letter to the post office of herat then post office of Herat will give the letter to the postman and postman will send the data to B so the step wise the, this step is called layers this step is called layer so this is called layer task so the topic we will see uh, we will study in a layer task is sender receiver carrier and herrachi so this is the uh, layer example how the data will send let's see this is a user a or sender in a Kabul and this is your receiver in Herat so a will write a letter and envelope will send a carrier to the Kabul post office the Kabul post office will send the letter to the Herat post office and the Herat post office will give to the um, postal man and postal man will send the data to receiver side and they can communicate this is called uh, lead or a stepwise process of a sender and receiver so this is sender and this is receiver so now we will study about OSI model so we have a two uh, abbreviation ISO and OSI so ISO is the organization keep in mind and OSI is a model so ISO stand for international standard organization you know every telecommunication company and ISP uh, take a license from ISO because ISO have their own rule and their own point own specification own goal so in the company reach to these goals then ISO will provide a license so ISO is a organization but OSI stands for open system interconnection and OSI is, is a model not organization keep in it's a model so I already mentioned here as well so OSI model have their uh, some layers we so OSI have a seven layer and in a network is work on the basis of a seven layer so we will see later on how it is working so the topic which we will study uh, later on will be layer architecture peer-to-peer -peer and encapsulation you know about the encapsulation encapsulation when you have three four five thing 
and you are going to encapsulate in a envelope this is called encapsulation so now we will study about OSI model and our main topic is OSI model so OSI have a seven layer so this is called seven layer model OSI model so the first layer is called physical layer then second is data link layer network layer transport layer session layer presentation and application layer so this seven layer is working in a network and each and every single layer have their own duties so how you can going to be uh, memorized so you can memory like a p s t n d p so you can also say a p s t n d p so this is a and uh, this is a way how you, you can uh, memorize this osi model i memorize by name this like so it's up to how you are going to memorize it so now we will see the interaction between the layer in a osi model we have a seven layers so seven layer was application like a p s t n d p seven layer from a device a or sender a uh, and seven layer is towards sender b or device b you can say this is sender this is a receiver so when a data is coming from a device a it will cover all these tape from application to presentation session transport network data link and physical then physical to physical and data data to, again it will reach to the application then device b or a network b or user b will receive the data so between application layers you can see here this is called peer-to-peer -peer protocol again peer-to-peer peer-to-peer -peer and peer-to-peer -peer. so when you are coming to the network way so this is called network protocol then data link protocol and uh, physical protocol so this is called physical communication so this is the uh, simplest way of uh, osi layers and uh, osi model how to customer or how sender uh, send the data from device a to device p so all these seven layers of a osi model will work to transfer the data if you can see this example like in a model osi model layer seven and uh, like application layer which have a very small covering area but when data is coming from uh, layer 7 to layer, uh, layer 6 the space is going to be increased why it going to increase because it is some extra data with the information some extra bits with the information to secure your data then from 6 uh, layer 6 to layer 5 again going to be again it will eat some extra bits then here again again when it's reached to the physical layer so your complete secure data with encapsulation and encoding with a fragment with the segment with the frame will be here and this will going to be transferred now and this is your transmission media and reach to the physical then from physical it going to be and uh, demodulate now from here to this way it's going to be modulate to aid some this is called modulation and when it's these two point b like this is sender b this is receiver or a user b so it's going to be demodulate now because those extra bits will be removed now and at the end we will receive the exact data which was sent from user a 
to user B. So user B will receive the complete pair data. So this is the process of a seven layer of OSI model. So whenever you are sending your data from user A to user B or from user A to user C or from user A to anywhere, so every network will follow these steps. So now coming to the first layer of OSI model. So the first layer is physical layer. What is the uh, process or uh, duties of physical layer is? The physical layer is responsible for movement of a individual bit from one hop to next. Like this is your physical and we have a complete secure data in the form of bits. So a physical layer will transfer or move or, or uh, send the data from A to B. So this is the job of physical layer. So if you can see this is a physical layer. So from a data link layer the data will come from data link to physical and the physical will transfer the data. Now the second layer of OSI model, data link layer is the second layer. What is the character of the uh, data link layer? Data link layer is responsible for moving a frame from one hop to next. So this is your network. From a network, the data will come to the data link layer. And data link layer, what will they do? data link layer will make a frame data link layer will generate or make a frame and this frame will send to the physical layer so data link layer will make a frame and this frame will send from data link to physical layer and in physical layer we will observe the bits so this is the job of data link layer so if you can see the example from end system uh, yeah, end user want to send a data to this user or this user so what is the process so let's see this is your data link layer so the data so the your data or information in a data link layer node so data link layer making a will generate a frame they will generate a frame this frame will send to the physical layer and physical will convert all the data all the frame into the bits so this physical layer will uh, send the data from a to b this is a physical to data again it's go on to the seven layer then it will send the data to here so this is hope to hope delivery then it will again data link a physical and send the data to this apps user so but actually a b e or f all of them will follow the seven layers characteristic not just data link or physical but we are just giving example of a data link and physical here but at the end we will uh, learn from all seven layer and every user will now uh, follow the seven layers so now coming to the third layer which is called network layer so what is the duty of network layer network layer is responsible for the delivery of individual packets so it will generate a packet it will generate a packet so this your network from a transport the data will transfer from layer 4 to layer 3 which is network network layer will make a packet and so network layer will transfer the data to the data link layer so this packet will change to the frames because data link layer generate a frame and this frame will transfer from data link to physical layer and in physical all the information in the bits form so the same procedure again here from this is a like user a this is user b so when the data link layer work uh, the uh, the data link layer is 
doing the same job in A, so the also the same job will be processed in a B as well. So keep in mind the um, job of network layer. So now this is the example again. In the previous example, we had a two layers. Now we have a three layer network layer as well. So from a network layer, in a network layer, we are making or generating a packets. The packet will transfer to the data link layer, which will make a frames, and the frames will transfer from data links to physical layer, and the date all the data in a physical layer is in the bits form so this is a user a user a wants to send the data to user b so the same procedure will be followed up and so if sender b wants to send the data to sender e so the same procedure will follow then sender e want to send the data to sender that to uh, to the user app the same procedure will follow up so up to now we studied three layers so after that when we study other layers as well so at the end we will uh, conclude the whole procedure so now coming to the layer 4 which is called transport layer so what is the duty of transport layer so the responsibility of a transport layer is to deliver of a message from one process to another process another one from one to another it can uh, transfer a data yeah we know about a transportation or transport what they are doing transportation or transport doing to send a data from one point to another point or from one district to another district or from one stop to another stop so same thing is also uh, applicable here so the transport layer is doing a segmentation keep in mind what they are doing segmentation so from a session layer data will come to the transport layer transport is making a segments so this segment will send to the network network will make a packets so packet will send to the data link data link link make a frame so frame will send to the physical layer and physical layers convert all the data all information in a bits form so this is the responsibility of our transport layer so the same procedure is uh, applicable here so the, the same procedure also be valid and work will be here as well so now you can see this example uh, process to process delivery so transport layer always do process to process delivery so so the process to process delivery this a wants to communicate with the b so all seven layer of the si model will be applicable and so we are studying just two ones so transport layer will do the process to process delivery but network layer will do host to host delivery because network is a communication part basically so through internet you will make internet and uh, through internet you will make a network so and through then you can communicate with customer a to customer b so now coming to the fifth layer of osi model the fifth layer is session layer so what is the responsibility of a session layer so the responsibility of a session layer is for a dialog control and synchronization dialog control what does it mean whenever data is coming from the presentation layer so session layer will be control the data and arrange the data and also the data or information which is coming from the presentation layer will need to be synchronized synchronized mona keep munazam bosha first ko du clock as du sona sort as by the enemy are du sort sonia share the cash or sort in our c uh by so be uh so much again in a me sort human door me for a enemy gardish me corner in a me and gardish by it are douche a same bosh agar the yak sort yak budget by the digam yak budget bosh agar the yak sort yak budget dudoka the digasotum yak sort yeah yak budget 
یکو دو باشه ما اینو میواری سینکرونایز باشه سو سیشن لیر چی میکنه که دیتا را کنترل میکنه منظم میکنه اور سینکرونایز میکنه چیزی که دا کسٹمر ای یا دا یوزر ای می باشه پروسیس ها سیم پروسیس دا یوزر طرف یوزر بی هم می باشه سو نو کمینگ تو دا سکس لیر آف او ایس آی مودل سو دا سکس لیر ایس پریزنٹیشن لیر سو پریزنٹیشن لیر پریزنٹیشن بای نیم ایس نون ایت ویل میک پریزنٹیشن presentation it will uh, make some graphic some kind of makeup and uh, design and make a good kind of presentation so the presentation will will play with the uh, will play with the um, data information to, uh, for a session layer so the from application layer data will come to the presentation layer and presentation will uh, will design will make a will dress the data whenever you are making a dress so dressing for yourself make you look a nice so presentation will make a dress for the data then the same uh, procedure which is which is capable or working in user a the same will be work will be in a user b so this is the sixth layer of the osi model so now coming to the seventh layer of OSI model, which is called application layer. So the responsibility of application layer is the responsibility of a application layer is to provide a services to the user. What does it mean? Like human, human can make a sound, generate a sound. So the sound is kind of information or data. So they it will come to the application layer is a form of message. So this message will uh, transfer from application layer to the presentation layer. So the presentation will, will design, will dress the data. And then the presentation layer will transfer the data to the session layer and session layer will, what will do to control the data to manage the data and to synchronize the data so session layer will uh, send the synchronize and control data to transport so transport layer will do a segmentation so it will make a segmentation to make a segment of the data what does it mean segmentation segmentation means it will make some kind of uh, like this is your data it just like make a segment like this one this is segment part from each other so this segment will go to the network layer and network layer will make a packets of a data so it will make a packets like this way separate kind of a packet so in this separate so network will transfer a packet to the data link and data link layer will make a frames so all these packet will be in the shape of frame now this kind of frame you will see and this frame will send from data link to the physical layer and physical layer will convert all these data or a frame in a bit form 0 or 1 form then so this is basically the OSI model and how it will works so for example user A who wants to send a data to user B so user A will send the message so the message or message will come to the application layer and application layer will send the message to the presentation layer and presentation layer will play with the data and design and trust the data and the presentation layer will send the data to the session a session layer will control and synchronize the data so data synchronized data will come to the transport and transport there will make a segmentation of a data so these segments will come to the network and network layer will make the uh, packets of the data then packets will come to the uh, data link it will be frame and at the end all the frame will come to physical layer and we will see our data we will see all the frame in the form of 
bits in form of zeros on one so now this data will transfer from a to b so the same procedure will be follow here so the same procedure will be follow here now so the first will be physical layer the bits will be here so this will be the physical layer the physical layer will transfer data to data link layer again it will make a frames from this it will frame then from net uh, data links to uh, network layer network will communicate from network to transport and transfer to the session so again synchronize and control then presentation from presentation again we will see application and application layer we will um, we will recover our original signal we will recover our original message so this is the basic uh, basic process of OSI model from a user a to user b so this is the process so keep in mind that so this is the basic process of OSI model so now this is the summary of the OSI model so what is the pro uh, job of application layer to access to allow access the network what is the uh, process of presentation to uh, design or to dress the message to me it mean like to encrypt some kind of a uh, data to and compress the data or to translate the data then session layer and again the session layer so manage and terminate some kind of information like that then in transport layer and transport layer it will be reliable process to process measure to deliver and error recovery what some kind of error will be there so the transport will remove the error or recover the error so in network layer the move the packet from source to destination what is source sender call source and receiver call destination so from sender to from source to destination then data link layer so the data link layer will make a frame and hope to hope delivery so and then physical to transmit bits over a medium so we study that in our OSI model so that was the summary of uh, OSI model so now coming to the TCP IP protocol so it's a uh, same model like OSI but the, there, there will be a five layer so same like the procedure will the same like a OSI so coming to the OS, uh, TCP model now uh, how it will be a five layer and how it will work so in TCP IPR OSI model so this is this seven layers called OSI model in TCP model these three layer are combined so these three layers called one layer now so one two three four and five so tcp ip have a five layers so that it's same like osi but just combine three first uh, three layers so these three layer make a this application you know about dns this kind of telnet etc what transport layer will do some pr uh, protocol like SCTP, TCP, Transmission Control, UDP, the Datagram Protocol, uh, then in a network mostly we use IP and IGMP, ICMP. So later on we will study about all these protocol and procedure. Then a data link and physical layer, so protocol defined by the underlying. So this is basically the same procedure of those I uh, model, but just three of the OSI model layer will combine and make it the one layer so addressing so four level of threads are used in the internet employing the TCP protocol like physical layer logical layer uh, physical address logical address port address and specific so physical layer just like a, a physically like a mac address you know about a mac address which is 48 bit and mac address uh, is uh, always assigned for the 
uh, companies when they are making a uh, digital or electronic devices like every PC router computer um, router uh, switches mobiles uh, all these things have some I have a MAC address so physical address called MAC address which are 48 bit then logical address like IP4 IPv6 you know about that is called logical address and then port address which is 16 bit and uh, port is by now it's uh, now that it's a port one so addresses we have four kind physical logical port and specific addresses and all four and different address is used for a different purposes so now the relation of our layers and uh, addresses in TCP IP so application layer process specific addresses transport layer process port addresses network layer process the logical addresses called IP and data link and physical layer they work on the physical address which is called MAC address so that's was uh, uh, like an introduction and some uh, explanation of OSI and TCP IP model with their layers and uh, with some uh, example hope you will find uh, good that and if anybody have any kind of a question so you guys can ask and I will be happy to answer a single a, each and single question because it will memorize something new for me as well so thank you for your time